We are passionate about the United Nations Sustainable Development Goals. This is reflected in how we behave across our entire ecosystem, which includes our employees, distributors, regulators and society in general. I'm a Global Executive Committee member and also head the Corporate Sustainability Department. The latter comes from a personal passion for DNI and the environment. I'm a strong believer that if such efforts are to be a success, they can only thrive on top-down directive. They need to be brought alive through grassroots efforts and executed by the people who drive this company day to day. As a foreign woman in Japan and a working mother, it's been a wonderful challenge to drive forth the agenda for the women of this company. We are a little bit ahead of the game. These goals and the whole idea of DNI is becoming part of our DNA. And in that sense, we're doing very well. In Singapore, we're fortunate to be in an environment where gender equality is more of a given. That just means we're better positioned to enable women to succeed both at work and at home. We believe our culture and environment are conducive to helping women leaders manage challenges and barriers that drive change. Progress with the empowerment of women and diversity and inclusion differs substantially from country to country. This is why it's so important to create a common framework in the form of the women's empowerment principles. I truly believe that sustainability across environmental, social and economic considerations is essential to ensure a bright future for subsequent generations. Looking to the inclusion of those living with disabilities, some progress has been made in raising awareness in the financial industry, but there's a lot more to do. We have for many years supported an organization that provides wheelchairs to children in developing countries who would not have access to them otherwise. Nico Asset Management also supports the Japan National Wheelchair Rugby Team, and two of its members are our colleagues, including team captain Yukinobu Ike. The team took a bronze at the Rio de Janeiro Paralympics, then went on to win the Wheelchair Rugby World Championship about two years later. This clearly displays the importance of emphasizing ability above disability. Education is an important element to reducing inequality. Our contribution to this effort comes in a number of different formats. We are industry leaders in investment and fund education to distributors, as well as to other segments, such as young investors, through our Fund Academy series here in Japan. We believe in the importance of education as an equalizer in society. And so over the years, we've deliberately collaborated with various educational institutions in the local market on many different fronts. We've also worked with hearing paired children at primary school level, supporting their needs. In the next 10 to 15 years, I would like to see this company with a much healthier balance of uh, senior female leaders. We are definitely on the right path. Uh, we have programs that really help incentivize women to want to move up within the company. But this industry is uh, very, very low with female talent and very, very low in um, role models. And so it's not specific just to Nick OAM. But for us, I would like us to see, uh, to stand as industry leaders uh, in terms of how women we have at the top, and that's really our target. As a female leader, quite naturally, we're more sensitive, more akin to understanding the different needs. And so I think, you know, as a female leader for the next generation, it's important for them to see that there is a spectrum of possibilities of what success can look like.